I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. Hello from the site of the future Port Maritime Center. We are along the Foss Waterway where it meets the smaller Wheeler Osgood Waterway across from downtown Tacoma. This is where the port plans to build a new office building and over there to the east is where Tacoma Public Schools plans to build the Maritime 253 Skills Center. For the first time, we can share conceptual design drawings. Plans call for a two and a half story building that includes office space for the port and the Northwest Seaport Alliance, plus commission meeting chambers. Walking paths and waterway access are also planned for the site. This becomes literally the front door, the new front door to the Port of Tacoma. Construction could start as early as March 2025 on both the Port Business Center and the Maritime 253 Skill Center, which will introduce high school students from across Pierce County to careers in the maritime industry. The next open house for the project will be on Tuesday, May 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Foss Waterway Seaport. You can learn more about the project at portmaritimecenter.com. In March, Port of Tacoma commissioners voted to fund the project to 60% design. We really do see this as uh, constructing a iconic buildings uh, that are just gonna benefit the community. Commission meetings happen each month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road, where public comment is always welcome. For meeting agendas, we invite you to sign up for our email newsletter, Peerside, at portoftacoma.com. And we hope you'll connect with us on social media. In March, Commission President Kristen Ang joined an international conversation on building a sustainable ocean economy. Commissioner Ang spoke at the Economist Impact's World Ocean Summit and Expo in Portugal and shared the port's commitment to reducing emissions. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is taking a new step towards supporting offshore wind projects. Commissioners from the ports of Tacoma and Seattle approved a study to evaluate business opportunities in the offshore wind supply chain, as floating wind turbines are being explored for use off the Northwest Coast. The Port of Tacoma's environmental team retrieved cages of mussels that spent the winter at the edge of Commencement Bay. Scientists will analyze the mussels' tissue for contaminants as part of a Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife water quality monitoring program. Mussels are filter feeders, so as they're filtering the water for for food, they are also filtering contaminants. The mussels were considered clean when the port's team deployed them last November. Similar groups of mussels were placed all around Puget Sound. One of the port's habitat sites is getting extra attention. Members of Northwest Youth Corps and Earth Corps worked in March to remove lots of invasive ivy from the place of circling waters. We're trying to, you know, really up the native species, the good guys for the area. And it like looks really nice when it's gone. Uh, so yeah, it's like rolling up a carpet. So it's, it's very satisfying. The crews then put in native plants. The programs give young people jobs in outdoor conservation. A new award program will honor Pierce County businesses committed to environmental excellence. The port is partnering with the Tacoma Pierce County Chamber and Communities for a Healthy Bay to honor businesses that positively impact air quality, water quality, land and natural resources, environmental awareness or environmental stewardship. The award ceremony will be held in May. A delegation of officials from Ukraine joined Governor Jay Inslee at the Port of Tacoma in March. A port tenant, Safe Boats, is building vessels that will support the Ukrainian Navy. A project supported by the port's Local Economic Development Investment Fund is in the home stretch. The port provided $10,000 to the Harbor History Museum in Gig Harbor to help enclose its maritime gallery. There was a roof over the historic fishing vessel Shenandoah, but no walls. When it was snowing outside, it was snowing inside. When it was raining outside, it was raining in here. Now there are walls with big windows looking onto the harbor. The museum plans to open the gallery in April 2025, 100 years after Shenandoah was launched. 
Finally this month, a very royal bus tour. Members of the Daffodil Festival Court joined a port bus tour in March and got a close-up look at seaport operations. The Daffodil Queen and Princesses represent high schools across Pierce County. I think the coolest thing that I learned on the tour was that they check each container for radiation and that sometimes bananas set them off. So I thought that was so cool. The port regularly hosts free bus tours. You can reserve a space at portoftacoma.com and you don't even have to be royalty. Thanks for joining us. See you in May for a new edition of Working Waterfront.